this is a Keppel Fells B300 hull, which was built in Singapore in 2009. It's used for drilling for, for oil and gas. The rig has been operating in the North Sea and is going to a new contract in Norway. The rig was due a five-year special periodic survey for, for that work to be carried out and inspected by DNV or the certifying authority. And we also had leg extensions installed because of the water depth of the new contract is going to. The leg, legs that uh, they existed were 568 feet. We put another 32 feet on top, bringing them to a total of 600 feet. And uh, it's very difficult to find a, a yard that can accommodate that requirement. We were approached by Rowan um, in their quest of finding a suitable yard within the North Sea area for this project. Uh, we have converted uh, drilling rigs into a hotel accommodation, we have converted cable lay vessels into uh, pipe lay vessels, but this project is unique for us. We have uh, three contracts, uh, one was the leg extension, another one was the uh, SPS, Special Periodic Survey, and another one was the AOC scope, that's an upgrade to the latest North Nord Sox standards. Uh, due to the height of the work and the complexity of the work to be carried out, um, we tried to find a strategy which was um, out of the ordinary and different than our competitors. In that way we started talking with a couple of uh, strategic partners like Palfinger and Mammut, and together with them we created this unique uh, solution in uh, executing this work, which at the end of the day also saved a lot of time for our customer. What made this job special for Mammut was that we were a real partner of Dame and that we were taking on uh, all aspects of the job, including uh, the transportation by barge of the leg extensions from the location where they were fabricated uh, to uh, the Dame yard in Vlissingen. All the way up to the installation on 170 meters high uh, was all in one hand. Usually uh, leg extensions uh, like this will be executed with uh, a crane installed on deck of the drill rig. In this case we were basically participating in the preparations of the project from a very early stage and uh, we could come to the solution uh, by using a shore crane for the installation of the leg extensions which basically kept the deck free for other works and yeah, that in the end was of course the big time saver on this, uh, on this project. To be able to carry out the work with that huge mammoth crane, we had to uh, remove uh, a warehouse and create at that spot of the old warehouse uh, a foundation to carry the 30 tons per square meter footprint. Balfinger is a company from Austria. Most of what we make is prototypes for offshore and ship systems. Uh, uh, we have two platforms. Uh, the big platform is the Jump. Uh, the white name is Jackup Maintenance Platform. And the small one, the, the elevator, is the CD. Uh, is the crew transport platform. They bring all guys up and down very fast. Yeah, the platform itself, uh, the, the, the works the same as the rig. The climbing up by the doof rack. The same is with the small platform, then we drive slowly, slowly up. With using the Palfinger system, we could create a safe working platform at the necessary height. And using the uh, mammoth crane, uh, we were able to keep uh, the platform at, uh, at sea level. In 
general it uh, went quite well. Of course we have to do uh, a huge improvements and uh, during the duration of the project we are facing difficulties and challenges, especially in the uh, leg extension project. Uh, we had some heavy weather, uh, we had some uh, um, deviations in the steel uh, that all have been managed and uh, accordingly uh, we uh, finished the project on time. Challenging moment uh, was uh, to get the legs lifted into position and uh, we had to move the rig each time for, uh, for each leg extended. It's a big job. It's a really big job. Uh, then uh, the, it's close to, to four months. I think the estimate is uh, 250 people a day, and then 100 days long, in, and then uh, is, is, is working on the project of the Roman Viking uh, each day. The uh, complexity of this project uh, has forced us to create systems on safety and quality, um, w which makes us ready to carry on complex projects in the near future. 24 hours uh, safety watches, um, permit meetings, alarms, that's, uh, that's all incorporated in, a, in, in one good working system. This is the first time that uh, a project has been executed on such a large rig, which is one of the biggest in the world. And uh, working together with our partners being Palfinger and Mammut, we were able to not only work safe, but also very efficient and uh, uh, shortening the duration of the project time for our customer. Uh, we completed the project in time without uh, accidents or incidents. It was a good job, so it was, we make it all together with Damon, uh, WAS, Delta Heat. Uh, of course, I'm really proud about the job. I'm really proud of what we have done here with all, to, all together. We are quite new in this business. At the end, we did manage. We did manage. Damon Ship Repair have a very nice facility here. I'm very satisfied. Looking back at the last three months, I really want to give a big compliment to all people involved in this project. Not only our own project team, but also all partners and the owner uh, who were present at our facilities. All did an amazing job in working safe and efficient during this project. And the beauty is that we deliver in time. <laughs>